all actuality really move in silence because you're just tricking your brain into thinking that you've accomplished something when you accomplished nothing you get the money my camera's gonna be there so you guys will be here because i'm about to film I'm turn it down i'm about to film a tiktok doing my makeup if you're ready to do tiktok i have been really enjoying these i posted my very first one on buy on a meals that's the name for my new planner business i changed it from doodle planners to buy on a meals because it's just going to be more than you know planners i that's what i wanted to evolve into and um yeah we really just don't know where it's going to go so i think buy on a meals is just a, a clean name you know and i went back and forth with like do i want to name it after myself but honestly I didn't even want my fucking sponge. Hold on. And how cute is this jean shirt? My brother thrifted. Anyways, this is a get rid of me from my personal page TikTok. And I'm going to be talking about the Real Housewives of Potomac. I was going to talk about Bernie Madoff because I'm like super, I'm just super into like these documentaries I've been watching on HBO Max. I do want to talk about him because that, oh my God, the monster of Wall Street. If you guys have HBO Max, you should totally um, check it out. And if you're just into that kind of stuff, because I absolutely love Bernie Madoff. And not even just, I love people that just do crazy things. Because <laughs> it's so cool to be like, why did you do that? Why? All right, we don't need sound. Bada boom, bada bing. And also, you guys, it's literally like six o'clock in the morning, and oh, it's six forty-eight. So I have like ten minutes because I have to go drop my kids off at school. Cause like obviously I could have waited until I got, I dropped the boys off, came home, and did it then, but. This is what you have to do. Y'all be asking me, how did you do stuff as a mom? And this is how, like, you just squeeze it in. And I'm, like, so blessed to have my mom, like, be in the front with the boys and stuff while I'm doing this kind of stuff. Because when I get home, I don't have time to sit down and do a fucking get ready with me. Because I'm, like, the day has started. You should already be ready. So we're going to be doing a get ready with me while we talk about Real Housewives of Potomac. No. So let's get ready while we talk about Real Housewives of Potomac. Okay, so we're done. I don't know if there's something else I need. I'm probably forgetting it. Oh, the lights. Sorry, guys. I put right amount of eyes in it. Yeah. yeah, I want to make that green juice. Mm -hmm. I want to try to make it, so. I probably won't make it in the jug, but I'm going to make yeah, it. Yeah, because if I do it, then that, um, that hey juice, it's going to mix it with the eyes, right? Or do you mix it with eyes? Yeah, you can. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. You say hey, Landon? Say hey. You say hey? No? He's just looking. He's in a looky mood. I want you guys to see the shirt leave I made, we made together for his 100 days of school. Turn around. He has 100 things. <laughs> Turn around on his shirt. How cool is that, Levi? Do you love it? Yeah. Yeah? Stop acting all shy. <laughs> oh, freak. This can buy the lady. Okay, so I'm back home. I got these little samples from this brand um, called Biome, I think. I don't know. These like probiotic drinks. So there's a super reds with organic fruits and veggies, antioxidants, functional mushrooms, digestive enzymes. I think this one I read online, it said it was like really good for like energy and stuff. And then the green one, the super greens, also has like the fruits and veggies. Oh, so the super reds is red berry flavor and the super greens is mixed berry flavor. So 
I think I'm gonna try the super greens. I don't know because I really do want, I need energy today. I'm about to be doing a bunch of little things. Red berry. Do. Do I want to taste red berry or do I want to taste a mixed berry? But I'm also filming a TikTok still too. So I'm going to be vlogging as well as filming my TikTok. So the first thing for my TikTok is going to be me pouring um, one of these little samples. I just don't want to make the wrong decision. Okay. And I read on their website that like a lot of their reviews are saying that all of their drinks taste really good. I don't have a code or anything. They just sent me a sample just to just to try it out. Super greens or super reds? Uh, do some red. Okay. Yeah, hold on one second, please. Yeah, hold on one second, please. Sorry, put this in the back. It's so pretty. Bye, mom. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope all this stuff is working. Yeah. Say hey. <laughs> she wanna know me. I stay low key. I'll cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up. We finna go deep. Riding on a team. Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get lonely. Mimi's over here working on. The planner, I'm not gonna show you guys too much, but she's working on the planner. My hair looks crazy. Um, and we are making strides. Are we making strides, Mom? Gotta yes? believe it. Gotta believe yeah. it. Yeah. That looks so good, like inside of like, like seeing it like inside of the planner. Yeah. Like it's like yeah. a part of it. Yeah. Okay, so I showed you guys in the last vlog at the very beginning the new project that we're working on. It is our planner. And um, the sample that you guys saw, we had got that from Alibaba because that's the, the route we thought we were going to go. And then we decided, you know, we can do it in house. Like, literally, if I can be like, Mom, this is what I need to happen, she is just a witness. Like, she gets it done. So, as far as the structure of the planner, that is what Mimi is doing. And as far as like the guts, the inner pages, the actual planning pages inside of the planner, that's what I'm doing. So, we're, you know, I'm doing the inside, she's doing the outside, and we're putting it together, and it's just going to be an immaculate planner. We've been testing out different covers, we've tried different names, we've found the name of like what we want to call our planners. The brand itself is called Buy on a Mills, but um, our planners, we're not going to just say that yet, right? We're going to yeah, wait, we're gonna wait a second. Yeah, yeah. But we have the name of our planners. And then um, in the future, we have other planners. And it's a bunch of stuff. And then some of you guys were asking me about the doodle planner, if I was going to bring back the doodle planner. I am going to bring back the doodle planner. We're still trying to figure out how we want that to look. It's not going to look exactly like the old doodle planner. It'll still have the same setup and the idea, the concept. It was awesome, though. No, it, it was awesome, awesome yeah. but I want to make it, I know that we can make it better. Yeah. Um, the doodle planner was a little tiny. It, the specs, everything, whatever. I totally want to come back out with the doodle planner because if you are a bullet journal, bullet journal girl or boy, the doodle planner was perfect. So I'm trying to figure out how can we make it just a tiny bit better. Also, another thing, make sure you guys go follow our TikTok, our business TikTok. I have been posting on there. Buy on a Mills on TikTok. I just been having fun on TikTok, y'all. Make sure you guys just go follow all the TikToks. Um, follow Buy on a Mills, Anna Does Nails, um, it's on a mills and also follow Suzy Mills for this my mom's TikTok. I will put all of those on the screen and down below. Make sure you guys go follow because we have been posting. We've been having a good time on TikTok. So make sure you go over there and follow all of those. That was it. I just wanted you guys to know that we're making the planner because I know you guys saw the planner from the last one and I want you guys to know we're not going with that one anymore. It still kind of will resemble it in a sense, but the name is different, the colors are different, the inner pages are different, and it's different because we're making it in-house. So um, it's just even more special. When I'm telling you my mind is like on a thousand right now, I can't too much really narrow in and focus on just the the whole business in itself because we're trying to figure out, you know, little specifics about the planner itself. But I feel like once we get this like down packed, the ideas are going to be just crazy. And I just know, I just know like Bot Iron Mills is going to be completely endless. And I'm so excited about it because honestly, I feel and like I'm... Functional. And functional. It's gonna make sense. It's not. It's no BS. You know what I mean? Cause, period. I'm a planner girl, but 
I get all of that from Susie, okay? Susie is Mimi, if you guys didn't know her real name, but <laughs> but I get all of that from her. Being in love with stationery, I get that from my mom. Like, So it's like, you know, as much as I love planners and I love stationery, my mom does too. And right now, Buy Anna Mills is a paper goods type of company. And um, I mean, with just that alone, the ideas are just endless okay you guys so yeah make sure you guys can follow us on tiktok um it was another thing oh and then for the planner too like it's not an actual launch but we're trying to see if we might launch around april because the planner starts in july more details will be coming i would be doing like a whole video on this planner when it's actually launched honestly i might do a whole video or I might do like a vlog video type thing i don't know we'll see okay so i had like a little thought honestly and i wanted to come here really quickly just to tell you guys so i hate when people say move in silence i don't know why it's like the most grossest thing ever i'm just like you know but anyways moving in silence to me and why i feel like you should move in silence and not tell people all your business especially when it comes to goals and stuff that you have because when you tell people about your goals or things that you're doing, right, unless you're just content with it and you know how to push forward, like me telling you guys about the planner, like that doesn't make me, that doesn't sway anything about me because I know it has to get done and I'm gonna get it done. You know what I mean? But let's just say you're not like that. Like you haven't been doing stuff like this or whatever the case may be, whether it be a promotion or a new business or just you know, your own personal growth that you're working on and stuff move in silence because when you tell people what you're doing or what you want to do it gives you this satisfaction this fake satisfaction like that you've done something when you've done absolutely nothing it makes you feel like oh i'm doing things because i'm telling people about it and you know i'm excited and my adrenaline's pumping and stuff like that but when all honesty you're not doing anything but talking about what you want to do or talking about how you want you know like you're talking and it makes you feel like you're doing something that reminds me of my all-time favorite self self self-help book i don't like self-help books i just feel like they're all the same it's like be motivated stay motivated create new habits you need these habits and do them all over again and then you'll be a millionaire i think they're just honestly like just the stupidest things ever and that's coming from someone who's read like tons of them okay and listen to them too but anyways my all-time favorite one that i'm honestly probably going to start back reading this week is atomic habits by james clear it is in my amazon store and you on you can buy it as a um on audible as well but anyways he has this whole notion of living in motion and that is what most of us do like we live in motion like we're not really doing anything we're talking about things which makes us feel like we've achieved something when in all actuality we've done absolutely nothing but just talk and not saying like you can't tell people about what you want to do and stuff like i would say just tell people that you know hold you accountable for the most part i feel like when i tell people my goals is usually like my family because i'm just excited i tell like my really close friends that i know that will keep me you know accountable for instance val like i love telling val stuff like especially business wise because i feel like she's going to remind me she's going to check back in you know what i mean so just don't be telling everybody your stuff just do it you know what i mean like and i feel like when people just say that it's so plain that it just kind of comes off like you know like you're just trying to be cute and and hip and with the shits but no in all actuality really move in silence because you're just tricking your brain into thinking that you've accomplished something when you accomplished nothing Walmart, right here. This is your station. You go first. Hold on. 
And then we're at Walmart getting some stuff for lunch. Okay, you guys, so that is it. Um, I just got done cleaning the bathroom, gave the boys a bath, I'm about to take my makeup off and shower, make lunch, and just wind down. It's 4.40, but I'm exhausted and tired. I'm ready to go to bed, okay? And I need to figure out my settings because right now it's just like appearing really dark and I don't know why it's appearing so dark. My skin looks oily, but I don't care. Anyways. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this vlog, and, you know, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. I'll probably start vlogging tomorrow, so, see you guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, comment something. Bye, guys.